For today's recipe, I am using about one and a half to two pounds of mutton and about five to six large onion. Yes, we are going to need a lot of onions for this dish. The main flavor of this dish comes from sweetness of onions. And make sure that you are not using red onions. Uh, we need yellow or white onions for this recipe. We're also going to need about seven to eight dried red whole chilies, salt, and about 10 to 12 black peppercorns and regular cooking oil. I'm going to turn on my stove and I'm adding about four to five tablespoons of oil. I'm adding these dried peppers, peppercorn, yes, mutton, salt, In about two to three cups of water to cook the meat. I'm using the pressure cooker to um, cook the meat. It's going to save a lot of time. All right, I'm going to cook this meat for about um, 18 to 20 minutes in pressure cooker. Otherwise, it'll take you longer. Uh, if you're not using pressure cooker, maybe it'll take 45 minutes or longer or maybe shorter. It depends um, on different places uh, that how quickly your meat cooks. So keep an eye on that. All right, I'm gonna check it after 18 to 20 minutes. I have turned off the stove. Let's check on the meat, it should be done. Yeah, it's fully cooked and tender and a little bit of moisture left and I'm going to reduce it. Keep your flame on high. All right, the meat is about 95% dry. Doesn't have a lot of moisture. Maybe two or three tablespoons left. Now I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to take another pot. All right, now I am going to take another pot and I'm going to add about one cup of oil. I'm gonna let it become hot. I have sliced those onions and now I'm going to add all of them at once in this pot. Don't worry, right now it is looking a lot of onions. Once it's fully cooked, it's gonna shrink and melt. We are going to cook the onions until it becomes light golden brown. Can you see how the onion, onion changed its color and it became like honey golden brown? So it is perfectly cooked. Now I am going to add the cooked meat inside this cooked onion and I'm going to cook it on high heat for another five minutes or so. Alright, our mutton stew is perfectly ready. 
You can serve it with naan, kocha, chapati, whatever you prefer.